Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. 90% of you watching my video, yes, you, I see you, are not subscribed, so hit that subscribe button to tell me that you want to see more of my content. It helps me more than you know. In today's video, what we're doing is testing a brand new wax. It's called Hera Snow. It's also called Sand Wax, and it's basically granulated wax, and it requires no melting, no temperature check, and no curing. Color me intrigued. Let's find out what it's all about together right now. All right, so remember, I've never done this before. I'm doing it for the first time right now. This is what it looks like. It looks like granulated sugar, only softer, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait how much I need to fill that jar, which is the one I'm going to use first, and then calculate how much fragrance I can add. On this wax, the guideline from the website says that around 5 to 6% is what you want to do, so I'm going to go with that. Okay, so I'm going to take my jar and tear it. And I'm going to fill this. Okay, it's interesting because it looks like it's lighter than the other wax. Because for a jar like this, I would tend to put 220 gram total. But I only have 117 here. So I'm just going to round it up to 120 to make it easier for calculation. And what I'm going to do is, you're going to say, well... Where is your wick sticker? Where is your fragrance? Where is um, your wick? I'm going to mix the fragrance oil and the wax in the this container. And I'm just going to then stick my wick right in the middle. Because, you know, why not? I'm going to use the Aventos dupe. The masculine slash fresh scent which i really enjoy so i've got this left so i'm just going to use that i absolutely love that scent and i'm going to go with five percent i'm just scent is just about six gram careful you do not want to touch the fragrance oil fragrance oil is a chemical it can create allergic reaction so don't forget that when you uh when you work i'm going to mix it so i think it's looking pretty good now so i don't know if you're supposed to i'm gonna try and like tap it to make it as compact as possible i'm used to work with soy and uh natural ve vegetal wax so this is a paraffin blend so i'm not too used to the wicks for paraffin so i'm just gonna go with what i use normally with my regular um, candles so I'm not necessarily sure this is going to be the right wick but uh, at least it will do uh, for this test so I'm going with this candle shack TB14 wick and I'm just going to aim for the middle okay it's not bad all right And this, my friend, is the fastest scented candle I've ever made. Is it any good? We will find out. I will put it on the side while I make another one. Okay, so this time I'm going to do two small votive and I'm going to do colors. I'm going to go with one liquid dye that I've been loving, which is this one. So... If you do it light, it's going to be like this. And if you do it uh, dark, it's going to be like this. So standard wax at the bottom. And then I'm going to do this shade. And then the top shade is going to be darker. Use a plastic bag. I'm going to put my wax in here. And I'm going to mix my fragrance first. And then go with my dye. So let's go. See how much I can get away with only 40 grams. Okay, so I'm going to need only 80 grams. Of I'm going to do one of my favorite, which is Primrose Apricot from, uh, it used to be the Wooden Wick, it's now Mixy. Uh, Primrose Apricot, absolutely love it. So five gram of this. Make sure you tar your, what, your scale. 
okay? And I'm going to use this little bag to mix it real good. You can see the difference, you can see the oil. Oh, the smell is delicious! Love it! Okay, what I use to mix my oil, so I'm just going to scoop it in. It's probably going to be better, yes. Good call, Marion. I'm gonna go with just one drop. It might still be too much, by the way. Oop, of dye. Ooh, done it. Look at that color. Looks beautiful. Absolutely love this color. See, it would have been easier here to put my wick like I did on the first one afterwards. Live and learn. Live and learn. So for the next layer, I'm going to go with one of a drop. So it should really go darker. Nice. Really pretty. Lovely. All right. Lovely. So we've got this one with no color, but normal dye. And we've got the ombre. So this is what it looks like with the sand wax. Looks really good, really nice. Okay, so because this wax is like basically ready to go, I'm just gonna cut the wick. Okay, and I'm gonna do this one. I've literally made this candle as in right now and they're burning now. I'm just gonna film how they burn because I'm quite intrigued to see how it looks like when it burn um, and also in terms of sand foam so yeah I'm just gonna leave them burn for I think a few hours just to see how it goes and I'll be back hello it's been half an hour and let's check on the candles so this one as you can see we've got a melt pool scent is already there and it's been half an hour and it's already quite strong this one is doing really well flame good size melt pool coming along nicely scent throw really nice so this one i'd say for now it's looking quite good so this is after a few hours so the flame is too big but the melt pool is almost full and it smells amazing definitely not the right wick for this candle this one has burned really nicely. It burns really fast though, because it's only been on for like less than three hours, but the throw is good and the wick looks really good as well. <sighs> Hi guys, so that's it. The test is finished and it's time now to give my impression on this wax. First thing is it's really easy to use. Um, once you kind of have a system in terms of how you're going to mix the fragrance or fragrance and dye together, then you're good to go. I would say that it's probably really hard for a production line. So if you're making candles uh, in mass like I'm doing or you produce like many at the time, I would not see that working. I think it's a good work for crafts or if you're doing things yourself for an event, for a party favor, for your wedding, anything like this. I think it's a great contender for this. Why? It's because it's really easy to use. You don't need any material. One thing that is really expensive with candle making is getting the things to melt 
and make candles. Whereas here you just need your wax, your vessel, your wick and your fragrance oil. And that is a great save. Again, I don't see this being a product that you can use as a business. Well, maybe you can be, maybe depending on the vessel you're using, but I think it's a tricky one uh, because it will go anywhere, everywhere. It's not really aesthetically pleasing. The final result, even if you try to really like flat the top, something that I love about scented candle and getting like those smooth white flat tops, and this is definitely not happening with this wax. But I would say overall, really good scent throw, really easy to use, no material needed, great for crafting. Um, I would say not necessarily great for business like myself, but I think it was a great test. Week wise, as I said, I'm used to do soy wax candles, so I've used what I got. So um, the little one, the votive one, seems to be working quite good. The other one, the flame was way too high, so the wick is not good. But I think with a little bit of testing, you should get there. That's my thought. I thought you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. If you want to me to test more wax, let me know and I'll try and give it a go. Um, until then, see you very soon. Bye bye.